He bleed crimson and gold. We bleed green and white. We play till the whistle blows. We leave it all on the field. We are Pitt State. We are Northwest. We are rivals. There's a special feeling when you know you're going to play that There's game. There's nobody else that we would rather beat than Northwest. You have to play your best, otherwise uh, the outcome's not going to be in your favor. Six nine is kind of like any time you lose and you felt like you, you should have won. Hey, it's always a big rivalry. Never been a bad game in between both of us. The rivalry is very alive. Well, there's really two teams battling for the conference championship, and it was us and Pitt. There are two universities two towns and two excellent football traditions that lie in the heart of the Midwest. Both universities stand out in their own academic and athletic accomplishments. Both towns live to cheer on their beloved teams and both traditions remain a staple of excellence in Division II football. Northwest Missouri State University, located in Maryville, Missouri, is 214 miles north of Pittsburgh State University, which is located in Pittsburgh, Kansas. Not only miles are between these two teams, but also 15 years of heated rivalry. Both successful teams are led by two of the most distinguished head coaches in NCAA Division II football. Head coach Chuck Broyles took over at Pitt State in 1989. Soon after, he won his first national championship in 1991. Coach Broyles currently has the best winning percentage among all active coaches in Division II. I think a lot of it goes back to uh, you need to win some games, but you also, uh, the work ethic of the players and, and how they do. And the, I don't know if, I, if I've contributed personally to the tradition, except for, you know, we've won some games, we've won some championships, and we've increased our stadium size, we developed Gorilla Fest, and the atmosphere of game day. And I think, you know, that tradition that was there where people uh, would come and watch the games has grown and grown. Head coach Mel Churchma took over at Northwest in 1994. He took the beating and unconfident Bearcats from 0-11 to a national championship in just five years. Coach Churchma currently has the most postseason wins among active coaches in Division II. Well, I think uh, going back to, to when we started, I, th I think that uh, we had a lot of work to do and uh, we, uh, you know, you talk about character, we didn't have character, we had characters. And so we had to, we really had to literally clean house that first year. And we did a lot with uh, starting with recruiting and the type of kids that we recruited, uh, try to recruit student athletes. Uh, we, do, we have done a lot with goal setting. Uh, we do that every year and uh, started that in 95. And I, I think that's had a, had a lot to do with, uh, with the success that we've had. And then, uh, you know, the continuity of, of our coaching staff has been great. We, in 15 years, I've only hired four coaches. So we've had a lot of carryover and I think that's, that's really helped our program. I think they see a great tradition, a great history. We have a great leader and a great coach in Coach Churchma. And I think they just see like a great tradition of a team that may not be the, like the best team in the conference, like athletically across the board, but they see a team that's going to play the hardest. They're going to come out, they're going to compete every Saturday. We love our atmosphere that we play in and our fans love being here and cheering us on. I think that's all they get out of it. It's just a big family atmosphere. In the last 15 years, there's only been one year that Northwest or Pitt State has not won or shared the MIAA championship. In these years, the Gorillas and the Bearcats have combined for eight national championship appearances. You know, there was really two teams uh, at that point, two teams battling for the conference championship, and it was us and Pitt. Rivalry is defined as competition or the act of competing for profit or prize. But to Pitt State and Northwest, rivalry is defined as years of heated battle. Thousands of fans screaming for their hometown and only one team walking away victorious. Although each team knows how big this rivalry is, each player and coach has their own take on the biggest rivalry in Division II football. The rivalry actually started getting pretty intense as in uh, 19, like say 96 when uh, we got beat early in the year and they had had a good, pretty good season and up until then we had won the MIAA championships in 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 94, 95 and then we tied Northwest Missouri in 96. We're 10 and 0, they're 9 and 1 going into the last game and we've already clinched a tie for the conference which is huge.
We played in the, in the mud out here and they beat us uh, 40 to nothing. They kicked the dog out of us and uh, that was really disheartening, but we came back. The very next year, we had to go to Pitt and we played there on homecoming, driving rainstorm. And probably the play that, you know, as long as I live, I'll never forget was, uh, it was 14 to six, we're kicking the extra point, very muddy and wet. And the snap was bad. My holder, instead of trying to put it down, just took it off the ground and, and ran for the corner of the end zone and, and ended up scoring two points. We uh, held them, got the ball back, scored again with a few minutes to go, kicked the extra point and, and ended up winning 15 to 14. And from that point on, we realized that, you know, that we could win. And I, uh, I think at that point, I think Pitt hadn't lost at home in like 40 some games or something like that. We, you know, it was a, it was a huge win for us. Since 2002, the regular season rivalry game has been held in Kansas City, Missouri for what is known as the Fall Classic at Arrowhead. Coaches, players, and at least 20,000 screaming fans look forward to playing at this neutral site every year. I mean, obviously it's going to be a big rivalry because you're playing down there at Arrowhead and the dominance that Pitt State has had in this conference, even before Northwest was even relevant, they made a name for themselves. So now that we've made a name for ourselves and we're up there and we're competing with them, Every year, year in, year out, and we're playing at Earlhead, it's just a huge game. I have a lot of respect for Northwest. You know, it's, I hate them, but, you know, it's, it's a lot of respect. They have a great program, and Coach Churchman does a good job up there. I mean, both teams are great programs, and they're going to be coming ready to play. It's something really special to see. It's just one of those games that we know so much about each other, and we know what the other team's going to do, and they know what we're going to do, and it's really exciting because Playing at Arrowhead and playing against each other, whether it's in the playoffs or not, our fans really come, you know, they, they bring a lot of support, but in the same aspect, so does uh, Pitt's fans, and it makes it a lot of fun. When we get ready to play them, fans know we're normally on either undefeated or one team has one loss, so it's always a big rivalry. There's a special feeling when you know you're going to play that game, and uh, things in practice are a little sharper, and uh, everybody hits a little crisper, and uh, it's because of the rivalry. When the Gorillas and the Bearcats meet, Everyone knows that it will be the game that sets the tone for the rest of the season. In the game where some hearts are broken and others fulfilled, each team comes to the battle prepared to fight for their title, both knowing their seasons are on the line. For years, Pitt State has led the pack when it comes to being successful year in and year out, but recently Northwest has changed the tides and now they are the new kid on the block.